pretty sure as from what I know from speaking with my manager, I was like 100% on the contender series this summer. So it doesn't look, I don't know if they're still going to do that or, or whatever. Uh, when they were talking about moving all the cards from like London or like those other places and moving back to the United States there for like a week, I was hoping I was going to get in short notice. My manager asked me if I could make weight on a week's notice. I'm like, yeah, I can make weight on two days notice if I need to. Um, and I'm always in shape. And I think the shorter notice for me, the better, especially against some of the, the vet guys in there, because I've trained with Kevin Lee. I was Kevin Lee's main, one of his main sparring partners for uh, the Ferguson fight. And I, he's one of my good friends here. And guys like those who are, who are vets in the game and like, They've even told me these aren't even my words. It's just like you're like one of the dudes that like they can't you can't really game plan the fight because I can do a lot, and they they don't know really what they're getting into when they fight me either because I'm only five and zero. Oh, but I've I've I kind of fight like a vet, and I, even my uh, my striking coach uh, right now, Dewey Cooper, he he was just like dude, dude like I I don't. He's like confused as how like when I spar, I spar like I'm like a uh, 30 fight veteran. I'm not getting a lot of damage. I'm getting finishes and sparring, which like it, when I was training other places, like you, dudes could never finish anyone in sparring unless they were like going balls to the wall and knocking them out. But I can get like two or three subs around just sparring with big gloves on. Like uh, I think I'm a lot more. I think my IQ level just as far as I'm not that smart when it comes to school or studying or doing all that shit. but for whatever reason when i'm fighting i'm super calm and i know exactly what's happening i know like every time if i'm moving to their power side i'm drawing out their power and they don't even realize that they're doing that but i'm making them do that it's just little things like that that i'm constantly doing that people don't realize that it's not always just a fist fight it's you're trying to you're trying to i always i'm always trying to beat someone with the least amount of effort possible by trying to draw out things that I want and then taking advantage of it with my athleticism and my skills with from wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and striking. I, I'm ready to fight a top five guy right now. And I think there's some dudes that are in the top ten that I, I, would, I, I would make it look easy. Uh, some of the guys would be a good fight, you know? Like, it, it wouldn't be they're, – they're the best in the world for a reason. And I would have to find ways to get to my stuff and it'd be competitive. But I, I can compete with the best guys in the world right now, and like I've trained with a lot of the uh, a lot of those Dagestan guys, a lot of those Russian guys that Khabib trains with, and I've actually had Ali pull me off of some of his guys, and I can already tell just training with them, they've never even felt anything like what I have either, and they've trained with guys like that, so I'm really confident against the best guys in the world and really like i've told my manager this i've told my coaches this like i don't want to fight another dude who's i don't know five and oh six and oh or six and five or like the zach zane who was like i don't know like i can't remember his record but he had like almost 25 fights like, i don't want to fight guys like that i i want to fight a ufc vet i want to go straight in right now give me a dude that's like borderline ranked and I'm going to I'm gonna go in, I'm going to get my 50K submission of the night bonus, pay off some debt, and, uh, and then be sitting pretty and try to be the first, try, try to be the fastest person to uh, a UFC title shot ever. That's my goal. They're, they're just, so he, he, they, he's at extreme. He's, he just brought in some guys that, like, so with the Russians, or not not all of them, but, like, a lot of people from that part of the world, like, if they can beat you up, they beat you. If you beat them, they kind of they kind of shy away a little bit. And I've been training with some of them where it's like, okay, we're having a good round, and then I get on top of them, I take their back, and then they just lay there, and they don't want to fight no more. They don't want to spar. They don't want to grapple anymore. And so I've had – it's been a couple times where – they don't want to train anymore and then all and then i'm not even being i'm not even being mean and all they're all right max he's had enough and then he's done training and then i've had some of them follow me out to the parking lot before it it is what it is i i'm i'm excited to fight some of those guys at some point 
when they're following me out to the parking lot, I was asking, but I was only like two and zero at the time, and I was like, and they fought in the UFC, and I was like, yeah, bro, like we can fight. You just gotta let you gotta let whoever you gotta know. Like, hey, this is the kid I want to fight, and I can fight you at two and zero. And then, but th- that is just a shit attitude to have when if you get if you get beat in sparring or if you're losing in the gym or whatever, and then you're trying to take it outside, bro. You're a professional fighter. You don't need to do that in the street no more. Like I, I grew up fighting in the street. I grew, I, I, I almost got kicked out of college because I got in fights in the wrestling room, not even on the street. Like, if someone wanted to fight me in the street now, the only reason I would ever fight in the street is if I see someone putting hands on a girl or hands on a kid. Then I'm, then I'm going to jail, right? I'm fine with that. But like, if someone wants to fight me, I'm gonna run away on the street, bro. Like, I don't need to. I don't gotta prove anything to anyone anymore. Yeah, I don't have. I don't like that kind of attitude where they, they try to fight outside of fighting it's it's stupid